hello folks after a long gap i am recording this video so uh, i had a certain presentation programs uh, going on it was a tedx presentation uh, conducted by tedx maithikar so in kathmandu so that's why i was uh, busy in that and uh, since it is finished yesterday i can now come back to my recordings so this question belongs to uh, 2008 october november paper 22 so it says that's the question number one a golfer uh, strikes a ball so that it leaves a horizontal ground is the horizontal ground uh, with a velocity of six meter per second six meter per second at an angle uh, theta to the horizontal so the angle has been shown here which is the angle theta here the magnitude of initial vertical component vy of the velocity is 4.8 meter per second you can see here assume that air resistance is negligible negligible it's also given there so 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 now what we need to do is uh, let's uh, <coughs> go for the uh, so the, in question number a it is <coughs> we have to find that show that the magnitude of the initial horizontal component vx of the velocity is 3.6 meter per second so we are given the uh, resultant velocity total we are given the vertical so this should be equal to uh, <coughs> we can do that in any way we like so i must have this vx <coughs> should be equal to should be equal to root of root of v square minus v vertical square so it's equal to it's equal to this is 6 square minus 4.8 square and if i do the proper calculations it will give me the value 6 uh, square minus uh, 4.8 square is equal to this much and uh, its root will be equal to uh, 0.5 is equal to 3.6 so this is this is exactly exactly 3.6 meter per second which is as given in the question then then <coughs> let's go to the question so now 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 this question uh, is somewhat like somewhat related to the graph it says that the ball leaves the ground at t equal to 0, of course, and reaches the maximum height at t equal to 0 0.49 seconds. So if you go through the graph here, this is 0 0.04 and the 0 0.49 should be somewhere here, somewhere here. So it reaches the, reaches the uh, maximum height or top at 0 0.49 seconds. So on figure 1.9, sketch several lines to show the variation with time t until the ball returns to the ground. So we have to draw the graphs for different things until the ball reaches the ground so it uh, rises it rises and then falls to the ground so we have to draw the graph till that the first uh, graph is of the vertical component vy of the velocity so the uh, initial vertical velocity is we can see here 4.8 so it is uh, 4.0 5.0 so this should be 4.8 right and at 0 0.49 seconds the velocity is zero velocity is zero and when it returns back it returns back and since we have got uh, uh, negligible inter resistance uh, air resistance here like this so when it returns back its uh, velocity should be minus of this 0 0.49 seconds so in it returns back to the hand its velocity should be minus 0 0.49 uh, minus sorry 4.0 uh, 4.8 meter per second uh, meter per second so so what i need to do is this is 0 0.49 seconds so it will take the same here it should be 9.8 seconds here so at 9.8 second its velocity should be again 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 minus 4.8 meter per second so 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 the graph of this uh, vy should be from here crossing through here to reach here so if i uh, take a certain uh, thing here so i don't have uh, scale with me right now so i can draw i can draw like this so from here so please excuse me because uh, i don't have scale right now with me but uh, you people have to use uh, use a, a ruler or a scale so so just excuse me so from here i'll try to make it as straight as possible but because of the angle during uh, this recording it might uh, falter uh, believe me i can draw very straight in classrooms classrooms on the boards not exactly as mr walter levine but uh, yes i do draw pretty straight 
So here also, my hands are trembling, so otherwise uh, I could have drawn it very straight. So, 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 somewhat like this. So, somewhere curve here. So, you should draw it with a scale, straight line. So, this is the, uh, li this is line Y, line Y here. Now, next is the horizontal component Vx of the velocity. So, the horizontal component is uh, this thing, 3.6 meter per second, which does not change. It's because the force is vertical and it does not change the horizontal component of the velocity. So, that's why 3.6 is somewhere around here. So, this is 3, uh, this is 4, so 3.6 should be somewhere around here. So, from here to here to this time, it should be straight line parallel to the x axis. So, from here, so from here, 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 here. From here, 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 here. From here, 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 here. So here, 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 like this. So this is the graph for the horizon component uh, Vx. So it should be x. Now we have to find, calculate the maximum height reached by the ball. So this is found by using this velocity. So the height should be equal to, should be equal to this height s. A vertical should be equal to v vertical square by twice of a vertical twice of a vertical so all of this vertical so this thing is the initial velocity this is we are given as 4.8 meter per second so it is 4.8 square divided 2 into this ev is equal to 9.81 and we don't have to use the object sign there. It's because the formula has been derived by considering negative value of this a vertical. So it's equal to, it's equal to, let me do the calculations. Let me uh, use. So 4.8 square divided 2 into 9.81. So its value comes to be equal to 1.8. It is 1.174 meters. So if I if I write in 2SF as given all of these things here, 3, 2, so minimum is 2. It is 1.2 meter, 1.2 meters, which is the maximum height. Now, <clears throat> now the last question is, last question is, last but not the least actually, so for the movement of the ball from the ground to its maximum height, determine the ratio of k at maximum height by change of p. So when the thing goes like this, goes like this, we have to find the k e at max height here. So k here, and we have to find the change of p e here as well. So first thing is the k e at k at uh, maximum height maximum height is equal to 1 by 2 mass 1 by 2 mass into into into, into the velocity at this point the velocity at this point now as we know that the velocity here is equal to the horizontal velocity at this position it's because a horizontal velocity does not change and vertical velocity is lost here so the only thing that remains here is the horizontal velocity so it's equal to it's equal to the horizontal velocity is equal to 3.6 which we determine in the uh, first question is 3.6 so this thing should be equal to 3.6 square now the change of potential energy is equal to is equal to mg into delta h so equal to m into 9.81 into this height is equal to we just determine the max height here so it is 1.2 the real height is 1.174 so it is 1.174 so therefore this ratio this ratio should be equal to equal to 1 by 2 into m into 3.6 square divided divided m into 9.81 into 1.174 should be equal to m and m it cancels so our calculations will be equal to equal to equal to equal to so it will be uh, 3.6 square divided 2 into 9.81 into 
1.174 bracket equal to so it is 0. 0.5626 and so on so when you write in 2SF it's equal to 0 0.56 so ratio equal to 0 0.56 now last question in practice significant air resistance acts on the ball yes of course explain why the actual time taken for the ball to reach maximum height is less than the time calculated when air resistance is assumed to be negligible so that means uh, uh, it says that the time to reach the top is less if there is air. It's because when there is air, we have some sort of opposing force here. Some sort of opposing force. So opposing force means that means that the force resultant force resultant decreases. Resultant decreases, which means which means a also decreases. A also decreases. So decrease of a, a definitely means that it's not getting enough velocity getting lfc so that's why because of that we take we take uh, a decreases means that uh, v also increases less increases or changes less changes less so that's why t will be t will be more so this increases the value of time the body uh, requires to conduct its motion so this is the overall solution of this question. Thank you.